Hey, how's it going? My name is Jeff. I own Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. Thank you for watching this video. If you're doing some research looking for a lithium battery for your golf cart to do the conversion yourself, I think you're going to like the Uno battery. It's made in the United States. I believe it's very DIY friendly. It comes with an app and in about two hours you can take the lead acid and go to a lithium battery and expand and do range and all kinds of great things that you just can't do with lead acid. So follow to the end and tell me what you think in the comments. Please subscribe. Getting started with your UNO battery installation, this is what we want to happen. The UNO load side connector box needs to be installed so that the golf cart positive negative cables meet the UNO positive ne negative cables so we can interface with the battery. Once the lead acid batteries are removed from the golf cart, what you want to decide is where the load side junction box that UNO gives you should be located. And the reason for this placement is because you need to find the positive and the negative cables that are going to land on the junction box. Sometimes they don't come together in one convenient spot. So you're going to have to do your best to make them get there. So when you have the lead acid batteries out, you're going to see that the port, the charging port junction, which is right here, has a cable that normally would go to the lead acid batteries and you would have a positive, the red, and the negative, the black, and then you have a temperature sensor. We're not gonna use these to connect to the junction box. This is specifically for the EasyGo RXV, uh, 48 volt. It may apply to your golf cart as well. Um, so just take a look at what you have going on, but I can tell you I've already tested. I don't require these cables to make the connection, so I'm not gonna worry about where these land. So I am looking at the main DC for the golf cart, the positive cable here. And then I've got a couple of negative cables over here. And these are in a similar place over here where I can mount the junction box. The only other cable that I cannot get to this location, I will do a remote path and I'll show you that when the time comes. So for, for, this, for this installation, again, the um, 48 volt RXV, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the junction box to locate right up in, against this wall right here so I can land the cables c according to their polarity. So we'll mount that here and the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna throw some double back tape on here and I'm gonna screw this block in. Using a half inch deep socket, we're gonna connect the nut back to the post and take care of the negative cables. Now do the same with the positive cables. And if you notice, I'm gonna come in this direction. Uh, the cable going to the Uno is coming out of this side of the box, but it doesn't really matter, so I can switch it up. So I'm, because my cables from the golf cart are so short, instead of wrapping it around, trying to go around the corner, I'm just gonna drop it in right over here. And this is my DC-DC 48 volt to 12 volt converter. And that's also is going here. Last is the UNO cable going, the, uh, going back to the uh, UNO battery. And that'll lay on top of here. And sec again, secure it with the uh, nut. Give it a final tight with a ratchet. Now, we need to disconnect this lockout coming from the original charge port and use the EasyGo plug that Uno has. And we're going to give the lockout here some voltage so that we can drive the cart. The cart will think the uh, charger plug is uh, left in if we don't give this voltage via the battery. So we're just gonna remove, separate this guy. So we just leave a little pigtail here to the port take the end piece and made it to the the uno easy go plug just slap that in there now we got this guy and now this cable is going to go onto the positive 
of the DC load, okay, of the red here at the block. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to remove this from the harness to give this enough length to get over there. So we'll we'll pull this out of here and connect it to there. So we got the Uno battery installed, placed in there I should say. And I wanted to shoot this video by using all of the stock hardware that came with the EasyGo golf cart. And what you can see what I did was I cut the little tab off of the U-shaped bracket that came with it and I wanted to use this piece as a spacer because it has a place for the hold down bar to go through and we're going to use the original uh, lock, uh, flat washer and the nut and then this will leave me a little window where I can see the little blinking light that Uno has sorry for the glare the Uno has a blinking light I want to be able to see that so again I'm going to use everything that came with the EasyGo golf cart to hold this battery down Got my acorn or the nut. Put that back in a spot. Just got a couple threads on that. I'll get that later. And now I'm going to take my uh, half inch, yep, half inch, and just do some pressure on top of the Uno battery just to keep it from. Uh, if I ever, you know, took the cart off roading or went sideways with it, the battery won't move around. Right on, the battery is secure with the hole down. Now we're going to find a home for the charger. The charger, I feel like, is going to sit right here. And I've got, uh, so I'll take some self tapper screws and I'll mount it against this plastic rib. We'll uh, put a couple here, a couple here. The charger is real simple to install into the battery. You have a D-shaped plug from the charger. We have a D-shaped part from the Uno. You snap those together, make the connection. The charger is now connected. Now we, ask, we need to supply the charger with AC power. I don't want to have to lift the seat up to power up the charger. So there's the plug. So what I did was, because Uno sends us the uh, NOCO GCP, I want to call it. And you can search on how to install a GCP. That's all I did. I found a two inch, well I went out and bought a two inch hole saw and I cut a hole in right here so that I can install the NOCO device which will then allow me to plug in the charger exteriorly without having to lift the seat up. So all you do, and again you can watch a video on how to do this. You just run, you, after you drill your hole, you run this through and then this guy lives inside here and then you send some screws on the outside and then uh, yeah and then you'll have a charging port with a dust cover on the outside all right cool so we got everything installed we got the charger put in with the noco charge port going there supplying the ac we've got the charger connected to the G small d-shaped i've got the load center connected to the large d-shaped everything is ready to go we switch the cart back into run mode. Let's turn the key on. There we got the backup sound. That means we have power to the cart. So if you've done this install and you hear that sound, great. If you turn the key on and you don't hear power, I guarantee you, because I, I just did this, the little run toe switch that we disconnected and then we put the easy go plug in from Uno, this has to be connected to the power, uh, the, the positive. And I told you to do that and I still did it wrong. But uh, if you connect it to the positive side, you'll have power. Thanks for watching, and we're going to take this thing for a run. And uh, I really enjoy this battery. I think you will too. Have a good one.